Okay, so part three here, what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you how to alter the fonts, um, the size. So right now I have bad installed. Um, it fits kind of nice, but maybe you might want this a little smaller. Maybe you want this a little smaller. I'm going to show you each of the ones that I know about anyway. I'm not 100% sure on all of them. But now, in order to see your changes instantly, um, hopefully you saw the, um, the quick video I did on adding key map. If not, have a look at that because you're going to need it if you're doing constant changes. Because you don't want to have to close your Kodi over and over again. And even using a wizard is kind of a pain in the ass. This is like super fast. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to go, and I have made a list. So first of all, I'm going to open bad. I've made a font breakdown list. So I know what does what. See, as you can see, I have a, no idea for a whole pile of them. Okay, so um, let's just start from the top here. The RRS feed I'm not using, so I'm not going to show you that, but you would just go to Font 13. System Info Box. Okay, so the System Info Box. Actually, you know what? Sorry. Let's start here. System and Weather Submenus. Okay, so what we need to do is on our Font XML, we're looking for Name Font 15. Scroll down. And here it oh here's font 15. So as you can see right now the size is 60. So this show you one more quickly. System and weather submenus. So basically um, when you go into here and you go to system, it's this panel right here. It's all these. It's the size of these. So what we're going to do is we're going to change the size. I'm going to make it quite a bit smaller just so you notice the change. So font, font 15, let's go to 40. Then you save it. Then when you go back to your Kodi, um, on a laptop it's function F5. I think on a regular keyboard it's just F5. So you can see the size. Now when we hit that, see how much smaller it got. So next we're going to do this, because what happens is, if it's too big, it'll scroll off the page, and what you want to do is you want to make sure that each of these fits properly, so people can read it. So for that, that is the system info box. So we're looking for font 15 text box, and it is right here. So right now it fits perfectly. I'm going to show you what it looks like when it doesn't. So. I'm going to go 70, save it, go back to your Kodi, hit F5, and as you can see, it's way too big. So it needs to scroll in order to see it. I don't like that at all. So what I'm going to do is go back, and I'm going to change it back to 40, save it, and then I'm going to go back in, function F5. And there you go, it's back to normal and it fits properly. Okay, so next up, what we're going to do is uh, Power and File Manager dialog boxes. Okay, so as you can see, when you click on Power, you see the size of these. It's the same thing too when you go to um, File Manager, same size. Okay, so what we want to do is want to go to find font 14, which is right here. Now let's make that smaller. We're going to go with 30. You can just go by tiny increments to make it fit perfectly, but I'm just showing you so you can see dramatic changes. So save that. F5, and you can see how much smaller they are. All right, next up. Um, the submenu on main and the date and time. So that is here. There's the date and the time and the submenu. So as you can see, it's a little bit big and it's kind of dragging into your bar up above. So you might want to make that a little smaller. So submenu date and time is font 13 title. And as you can see, it's a ways down. So font 13 title. There we go. So it's at 45, 
We're going to shrink it way up just to show you how dramatic it is again. So we'll go down to 30. I'm going to save that. F5. And there you go. See how much smaller they are. Now, I'm going to back that out just because I kind of like the original size. Um, it's really, really good to do this in, um, in Cody because you can see your changes right away. And I'm going to show you after what to do with it when you're done. Okay, so next is the Favorites dialog title. And that is when you just go to Favorites. It's up here. So, let's go back. And we're looking for Font 15 title, which is right here. Let's make that big. Save. Go back. F5. There we go. And last but not least, definitely the most important one is your main menu bar. Now that's called main menu. Kind of would have been nice, I guess, if they could have named these something a little more, a little more normal. But anyways, so we're looking for main menu. So if you scroll down, there it is there, and we're at 108 right now. So let's have a look. You can see how big this is. Now, if you want it smaller, you just change that to whatever you want. I'm going to say 90. Save it. F5. And there you go, it shrinks it up. So, now, now that you have it where you like the size of everything, you're good to go. You know, everything's looking nice. What I like to do is I like to go back here. I like to shrink it up. Grab from here again and copy it. And then go to your bad font set, delete all of that, and paste it in, because now all your changes will take effect, because you don't want to pull in an old one that, where you got to go through and adjust it all again anyway. And then save that, and you're good to go. So hopefully that helped. Um, the cool thing about it is, once you have the font XML open, if you have, like me, you found a bunch of um, different font sets that you like, you know, it's really, really easy to add one. You just open what the one you want. Control A, copy, go to the font, hit enter, paste it in. Save it. And then when you go to Cody, hit F5. Go to your system, interface, that's your fonts, and the new font is in there. Okay, hopefully that helps some people.